Happening today, the Butte County Board of Supervisors will meet this morning at 9, and it's not on the agenda, but dozens of in-home support services staff, care providers for the elderly, disabled, and those who can't care for themselves are expected to show up in force. They want supervisors to meet contract demands of increasing pay above the minimum wage of $13 an hour. If he is awake all night needing care, we're all awake all night caring for him. Justin Myers isn't talking about an infant, but rather his 31-year-old brother. Born with cerebral palsy, Teal Rachi is severely disabled, needs 24-7 care, including feeding and excrement tubes. As full-time caregivers, Myers and his mother rely on in-home support services. Their work is taking care of family. The big issue with us is that here in Butte County, care providers are only making minimum wage. Uh, so it's very hard to find someone outside the family with the level of skills that is required for his level of care. United Domestic Workers of America is the union representing many IHSS providers. It's in negotiations with Butte County, pushing for a 50 cent wage increase. Regional Director Dwayne Camp, who made his case at the last supervisor's meeting, says the last negotiated contract expired five years ago. He says the last offer from the county, an additional 50 cents, but at a cost. And we want actual substantial protections to our existing medical plan, not to take it away, which is what the supervisors have been proposing for the last three or four years now. The Butte County Board of Supervisors need to take these workers seriously. They provide critical care to the neediest in our community, and we need to compensate them fairly. I did reach out to the county supervisors. Of the four I communicated with, all said they couldn't discuss the matter because contract negotiations are still underway. However, one told me what IHSS workers are requesting is not too great and people should be paid properly. Another said they want workers to have a fair wage. A third said public comments on this matter are taken into consideration for decision making and they wished that labor negotiations were more transparent and held in public. The Board of Supervisors meeting is at 9 a.m. at the Supervisors Chambers, 25 County Center Drive in Oroville.